right here we have the the RS3M 2020 and we have the G MS3 by 3 And right here we have the MGC 4x4. So let's go on for the one I'm most excited for first, which is the MF3 RS3M 2020. I heard that that's really good, so yeah, I just want to try it out. So the R3M 2020 was the most used, newest release budget 3x3, and their last one was the R3M. So the R3M was three times more expensive than the this new model, R3M 2020. So I don't think this one will perform any better than that, but well, we'll see. So it comes in a nice box wrapped in plastic, which is pretty good considering that it's just a budget cube and. It's just $36. So right here the box design is quite nice. You have this nice frosted surface. I think it's a frosted surface. And here you have all Moyusa of brands. And here you can see the dual adjustment system. So yeah, I'm excited to try that out as well because this cube is just so cheap but it has a dual adjustment system, tension adjustment system which is cool. So yeah, let's just get into the box shall we. So this is just a typical BOU box but there's the cube and there's the accessories box and it's very compact and nice. So yeah, packaging is definitely nicer than the R3M, like the original one. And you get a cool stand as well. Yeah, you see here, it wrote BOU. Yeah, really cool. Oh, sorry. So, anyways, here's the accessory box, and yeah, it's just a normal accessory, I think, like the screwdriver and the uh, extra things, extra magnets. So, yeah, we're just gonna open it up and show you guys. So, oh, of course, I have these cards. Yeah, always the cube companies just give you some random cards, like, we didn't even need it. Uh, especially cheesy like it gives like 10 cards first impressions the color shades are not my favorite I'd say red is a bit too dark green as well and it has this frosted surface which I'm also not a fan of as you can hear right there so magnets kind of medium and let's get into first turns. So it is a very fast cube. Like it's so fast that it's uncontrollable. So yeah. Oh it doesn't call it 45. Well reverse is okay I guess. But normal corner cutting, you can't even corner cut like 40, which is very bad. So yeah, definitely need some tensioning. And right now it's a bit too tight, and it's also very fast and sandy. As you can hear, and basically hear friction over all the layers, which is not so good because this cube definitely needs some lube. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna set it up and see if it gets better, but right now I'm not a big fan of this cube. So let's move on. So anyways, I forgot to mention the dual adjustment system. So yeah, it's exactly the same as the GTS 3M. If you're a beginner and if you want a good cube, this is not your only choice. Because here's the Qi MS3 i 3 which is also very good. So I'm just gonna check out this one to see if any better than the R3M 2020. So I got rid of that top layer of plastic so we finally can open this plastic box into this into this plastic wrapped cube which is made up of plastic. Okay. So yeah, this is exactly just like the Wu Wei box actually. It's just exactly the same. 
Here, I can prove that. So this cube will cover it in lube, as you can see right here. You can see it's covered in lube. So yeah, just get into the cube itself. Okay, so it didn't come with any accessories. So, which is not very nice, because it's priced higher than the R3 M2020. So it should have, it should perform better than the R3 M2020 and should have better accessories and like those stuff but all I got in the box is a pamphlet and there's nothing else not even cube stand so yeah so this cube must be really better than R3 M2020 to be worth its price and yeah for me to recommend it let's get into first turns and as usual for like most of budget cubes this cube's color cutting is all oh, horrendous it's even worse than the R3 M2020 it's like that's just 20 degrees dude come on okay reverse well at least the R3 M2020 can do reverse but this cube well it can do a little bit but nah not too good Oh, it's even tighter than that. Oh my gosh, how can you even solve a cube this tight? Gee, come on. So, for a general feeling, it is stable and blocky. Like what I said, it's also fast. It's certainly more stable than the R3 2020, which is like plain fast. So, magnets are light, like really, really light. And almost can't feel it. Yeah, so that's all I got to say about this cube. It doesn't have those fancy adjustment systems though, and this center cap is impossible to get out. So I'll compare them in depth in another video, and I'll make separate reviews for them, but for now, let's move on. Well, I've heard a lot of good things about the MBC 4x4. That got me really hyped, and I just decided I was just get this just to uh, try it out oh it's wrapped in plastic again. okay wait for a while okay so oh it's packed nicely right here like it's not like the bowie boxes where it's like compact and small like it separates out little holes right here it's gonna make it look nice and yeah so usual accessories like exactly like the bowie ones screwdriver springs magnets stupid pamphlet so let's move on to the cube and oh it has this dark green and dark red again okay okay fine like every cube has it now it's impossible to go back oh it looks great, dude. It doesn't have a frosted surface, instead it's very glossy, which I really like. And it feels just great in my hands, I don't know how to describe it. But let's go to first turns. Well, this is very good. No, no kidding, this is very good. Again, it's a bit too tight and the corner cutting is... Wait, it cutting is good yeah this cube is very good the magnets are strong the feeling is smooth and fast so if you compare it to the best 4x4 on the market right now LCWRM, the WRM there are a few similarities and differences I will note out so firstly the MGC 4x4 is definitely a lot faster than the LCWRM. WRM it's a lot faster but it's a bit uncontrollable, just a bit, a little bit. So also the RM, like it's smoother to turn, easier to turn because of bare corner cutting. And MGC 4x4 sometimes, if you don't turn accurately, you might get punished. Like you might cannot turn the U right now because I didn't turn the full R turn. So yeah, this is some problems you may run into and also parity may be a bit hard because you need to slice exactly to that point or else if you you missed it then it cannot just core like that 
because this cube is the budget cube and budget cubes can't have good corner cutting. Oil parity, not too bad. So I just realized that all these cubes have been released in the past month, which is very good. So R3 2020, I'll give it 7 out of 10. So it's very fast and it has a cool adjustment system. He has many accessories, all for just $36, which is a very great deal. But when it in terms of the cube itself, I won't say it's very nice, like, it's not like very, very good, but it's good for its price. It's certainly better than it, it's, it should be. Like, if I compare it to the Wu or something like that, it's certainly better than it. So, yeah. If you want to know how to describe the turn feel, I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of like sandy, I can feel a lot of friction, but at the same time it's very fast, and the corner cutting is bad of course, so we don't have to mention that anyways. And let's move on, so TMS, I like it slightly better than the R3M 2020, so I'll give it an 8 out of 10. So this one has a really glossy surface, it has a very stable feel, like you won't overshoot or undershoot. And the magnets are weak, which I like because strong magnets just make the cube turn slow. And yeah, many people like strong magnets and you might not favor this cube. So let's see. Corner cutting is bad, of course. Like all the budget cubes. Color shades, very nice. I like this color shades instead of this one. But it doesn't come with any accessories. It just comes with the cube itself. So yeah, that's a bit bad. Also, it doesn't have an adjustment system, which may be bad for some people who like to adjust their cubes. So, MDC for R4, 10 out of 10. I'll really give it 10 out of 10. It's best for R4 I have right, right now. Like, it's just so smooth and so fast. It's got that MGC feel to it. Like, it's not exactly up to 5x5 and 6x6, but it's like speedy and swift, which is the properties of the 5x5 and the 6x6, which I really like. It's also very quiet, actually. You can hear, compared to this one, much quieter so it's a Dantangan M of the 4x4 and in terms of feel it is similar to the GMS like stable and fast but also have this smooth feel like gliding on the pieces and yeah that's all I have to say for these three cubes also join my discord group and yeah that's it I've, that's all I've got to say so bye bye